So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I recently did a video on showing you will a custom launcher stop the Google Assistant on the all new ONN 4K Pro streaming device. And we found out that so far it has not. So today I'm gonna to show you a video on the perfect launcher that you can use on the ONN 4K Pro streaming device. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to get it, how to set it up, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the ONN 4K Pro streaming device. Today I'm gonna to show you how to go ahead and get a great launcher to go ahead and put onto your ONN box and show you a little bit on how to go ahead and set it up. Also, when you go ahead and press that home button, it automatically brings you right into the launcher. You don't have to worry about looking for the app and click on the app to go ahead and launch the launcher. If you're looking for a new device, check out my description down below. I have a couple of different links in there for some devices. Click on that link, no extra cost to you. Small commission comes to the channel, helps to buy some more product and also bring you some more videos. So here we go. First thing we need to do is to say, hey, Google, open up Google Play Store. So now that it opened up the Play Store, let's go ahead up. Let's go over to search. Come on down, go to the right. And the only thing we want to do is just type the word in project. Once you type the word project in, comes right up. Here it is, the project launcher. Go ahead, let's click on install and let's get it going. Give it a few seconds to download and install itself and we'll be right back. Now that it has downloaded and installed itself, let's go ahead, click on open. Let's go ahead, click to the right, click to the right, keep clicking to the right. You can read all that. I'm not gonna read it out to you. Let's go ahead, click to the right, say allow, say yes. Come on down here, just click the back button one time and say yes again. And then let's go ahead and click on get started. Let it open itself up. So here's the launcher right here. So now what we wanna do is just do some customizing real fast. This is where I just wanna go through some steps and not go through everything. You can play around with it. It's pretty much basic. What I'm showing you on what to do and you can customize the launcher the way you want. So as you can see right now, we have rows that say TV apps, mobile apps, Android, we have settings. But if we want to add one that does says, let's go ahead and say movies, go up to where the gear is, go ahead and click on the gear. Here you can do either edit categories or edit channels. Right now we're doing categories. So let's just go ahead, click on OK on enter categories. Hey, you scroll through and you see all the different types that you could go ahead and do, which is really cool. Right now we want to add our own category. We want to name it movies. So what you need to do is click on a new category. Now we go ahead, give it a title. Let's go ahead and type in movies. Once you type the word movies in, go ahead, click on that enter button. Then what you do after that, go ahead and click the back button. Come on back in to where it says movies. Go ahead and click on movies. Scroll on down to where it says manage apps. Let's open up manage apps. So now here it gives you all the movie channels that you have. Or I should just say the channels that you have on your ONN box. You just need to choose which one you want to put into the movie category. Let's say Tubi. So you go ahead and click it. Let's go ahead now, click on that back button, click on the back button again. One more time, let's just get out. And here you see underneath movies is Tubi. So anytime you wanna watch movies, you'll have your categories right in there along with your channels and you can have Tubi right in your movie section. So now a lot of people will often ask, hey, what about wallpaper? Can we change it? Well, yes, you can. Go up to the gear, click on the gear, come down to where it says project, Click on project. Let's come on down to where it says appearance. Click on appearance. Come back down to where it says wallpaper. Now go ahead and click on launch wallpapers. Come on down here. We'll choose the second one, which is pretty good. 
go down to where it says configure go click on configure then click on the first one and here you can see there's a whole bunch of different types of wallpapers in here that you could go ahead and click on to use let's just say for instance we click on car go ahead click on it so after you choose the wallpaper that you want just go ahead and click on that back button keep hitting back back again back you're going back and here you go here it is your wallpaper of cars now the next thing you need to do if you notice that if you click the home button right now on your remote it's going to bring you right back to the regular launch that you have the google launch we don't want to do that so what we need to do now is come right back and we need to go into our project launcher and go ahead and set it up so that way when we do click on that home button it automatically stays with the project launcher so let's go ahead go into the gear come on down to where the project launcher is click on general and you want to click on change default launcher once you click on change default launcher then you gotta have your options here either for google tv where it's set for the project launcher setup what is it we want project launcher go ahead and click on it come on down and say set as default and if you notice it kicks you right back out once you do that and it brings you right back to the google launcher once again what you need to do is to scroll right back into the launcher let's go back up to the gear one more time click on the gear come on down to where the project launcher is click on it now this time what you want to do is go ahead click on general and then override so let's go ahead and click on override after you click on override go ahead and click on that back button click that back button one more time come on down now this time we do not go ahead and click on project keep scrolling down to where it says accessibility service go ahead click on that now what you need to do is go ahead and click on where it says show accessibility go ahead and click on it and let's go ahead click on yes once you click on yes go ahead and scroll down you want to find a project launcher click it make sure you click it again to enable it say okay and now it's enabled now go ahead and click that home button on your remote and as you can see it brings us right in to the project launcher the way we want to do it so now let's just say you want to test it out all right let's go ahead underneath our movie category let's go ahead and click on tub it opens up it's going to bring us right in let's go ahead now no i don't want to watch tub let's go ahead click on that home button and right back into our launcher so this is how you go ahead and set up the project launcher so that way anytime you turn on your onn box it'll come right up to your own customized launcher that you have created please click on that like subscribe button and ring that bell this way you know when i do put up some more videos i really do appreciate it i also appreciate you subscribing to the channel it really does help out a lot leave your comments down below let me know if this helped you out setting up the project launcher and remember day or night it's time for streaming